Hey everybody, oh my gosh, okay, welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we made it uh, all the way up here to Blackthorn City after making it through the Icy Path and taking down Team Rocket out of the radio tower. So in this episode, whew, I'm exhausted because I got everybody up to level 40, except for Hard Noodle, but that's for separate reasons. I have the EXP share on him, and we'll get most of the EXP from that because there's not really a way I can grind him against any of the halfway decent uh, Pokemon out there in the route, but everyone else got up to level 40, and that that took some doing. Uh, a few Pokemon learned new moves. Uh, mainly, I taught uh, Wet Noodle Waterfall and Horn Noodle learned Close Combat, and I think everybody else has the same. Yeah, I think everybody else has the same move set. Yeah, so just just those two. But uh, Close Combat is an incredible move, and Waterfall it's not the worst move, but. So, as part of grinding, I already took out all the trainers in here to save you guys the effort of having to watch it. But, there's a few weird puzzles we're going to have to get through first. So, if you notice on every single one of these platforms, there will be more, by the way, spoiler alert. Uh, there's a blue button in the middle that right now does nothing. There's a red arrow to the right, which doesn't do anything. It just hits the wall and comes back, and to the left. And what the blue button does is it rotates the platform. So, the you got to use the ability to rotate the platform and move it to be able to get to the other side of the lava pit. This sounds incredibly dangerous and I don't know why they let 10 year olds do this, but. Uh, I gotta move, yeah, okay. We're gonna have to move up and then rotate it. Rotate it again. I don't know, this way, rotate it. Back down, nope. Back down and then rotate it again. Oh, wait a minute, I'm an idiot, sorry. Rotate. Rotate, rotate, there we go. Like I said, I took care of all the trainers in here just to save us the effort. Any single time you need to heal, you can take these uh, teleporters back to the beginning. So that's how you get back if you need to. Uh, okay, we can't, yeah, rotate, rotate, back over, rotate, up, 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 okay, rotate this way. Rotate it. No, no, no. Rotate it one more time. Go back up. One more time. And we made it. So here we go. Finally made it. This is Claire. Claire says I am Claire. That's <laughs> repetitive. Okay. So. This is the final gym leader and the eighth uh, dragon type gym leader, Claire of Blackthorn City. Not a pushover. And she's the reason I power level everybody up to an insane level. Example. Level 38 Gyarados. So, that's bad. Everyone has already had a super huge disadvantage, mainly because she uses Dragon types, and you'll notice that Gyarados is not a Dragon type, and if you're wondering why that's stupid, I have no idea why they decided to do that. But I can tell you that Noodle will definitely be able to one-shot this dude with pretty much any single one of his moves. Water and Flying type, both super effective against Electric, or both super effective to Electric, and he knows Dragon Rage. So that's the move he decided to use. Genius plan, buddy. What an idiot. We're not gonna go too crazy. We'll just use Discharge as opposed to having to risk missing the Thunder and then he Dragon Rages us three times in a row and we get fucked. This will still probably one-shot him. But her highest level Pokemon is level 41. So we're already gonna be out-leveled. At least by one of them. But we have five Pokemon. Six Pokemon if you want to count Hard Noodle. He'll be useful eventually. Just not quite yet. Dragonair. Uh, pure dragon type and I, I don't really have anything that's super effective against dragon type if you got an ice type uh, That's super effective against dragon and dragon is also super effective against itself So or fairy type but fairy type doesn't exist yet um, So that's pretty much all the options we got I could use close combat, but it will lower my defense So I think I'm gonna stick with brick break and see how much it does and if it does it'll just a little bit above half What's it do? Yeah um, What? Okay, crit hacks. Okay, I was about to say, <laughs> well, that <laughs> that makes it easier. She's got a Gyarados, two Dragonairs, and a Kingdra. So here's her second Dragonair. I mean, that went pretty well, so we'll do it again. Heal all. We'll do close combat. Close combat is an insanely powerful move, but the trade-off is that every single time you use it, if it actually happens, <laughs> defense falls and special defense falls. But, wow, this is going a lot better than I thought it was gonna. Have we even taken damage yet? I don't know. 
hard to level up though, so I guess there's that. Can't say it didn't do anything for me. Uh, we can keep pointing it out and try the close combat again. I don't think it's gonna sweep three in a row. This would be a little insane. Yeah, it's definitely faster. And with smoke screen, I don't think uh, close combat has 100% accuracy, so he's probably gonna miss. Oh, he didn't. All right, see how much it does. Okay. Welp. Wow. Oh, he's got that citrus berry though, so we're probably going to have to do another close combat. <sighs> Hydro Pump. That's one of the strongest water type moves in the game. It's also incredibly inaccurate. It's basically the Fire Blast for water type Pokemon, and why? That had to have been a crit. That was not a crit. Are you kidding me? Oh, I guess I did lower my special defense twice, but still, that's insane. I, I think he's pure dragon type. He might be dragon and water. I'm not entirely sure. But I, I already has Hydro Pump, so I'm not sending Casper out. We'll try Wet Noodle. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. Wet Noodle also learned Earthquake, which is the like, strongest ground type move in the game. Even though there is a one-hit KO ground type move. That's for later. Probably won't ever get it. Alright. I think this will kill. Maybe. I know Quagshire is not the greatest attacking Pokemon, but... Nope. She was supposed to win, and she's upset that she's not, so she's item cheating. You know that thing I do all the time. You know when people start pulling at me, it just means they're petty. Wow. This is going to take some doing. And by doing, I mean tanking the earthquakes because I'm four times resistant to them. And then, oh wait, no, I forgot. Ground type super effective against. Are you kidding me? That was not even a critical hit. This is insane right now. I don't think I have anything that's going to be faster than a Kingdra. Uh, he's definitely going to off me. Oh, Dragon Ball. So if I know that, I would try. Uh, that wouldn't have mattered. That was such an unnecessary critical hit. Okay. So, Egg Noodle, I guess. This is kind of my best bet. Uh, I don't want to risk anything. I want to get the stab, too. So we're going to... We're going to... Well... Extra Sensory is probably my best bet because his special attack is a lot higher than his regular attack. So if any move is going to be able to do something, it's probably going to be this. Right? Come on. Oh my gosh. She healed. She healed. Why wouldn't she heal? Why Why would she just not heal? That makes way too much sense. Ah, <sighs> dang it. This is... <laughs> well, I was going to take a little bit more doing than I thought. It's funny how we just completely shredded the rest of her first half of her team and then this shit starts happening luckily um hydro pump only has five uses and i think she's already used four of them and she's definitely used five there if you miss it still counts as a power point on the move so if it's only got five uses then what was that oh my gosh this is this is oh my gosh well she's out of hydro pump actually so i can well we'll we'll see what what Egg Noodle can do for us. What's Ancient Power going to do for us? Well, if you're going to keep lowering my accuracy, it ain't going to do anything because I won't be able to hit. Oh, God. I see your plan, but the problem is, is that it's not a stupid plan. I was betting on her being way stupider than this. I should probably stop using Ancient Power. Use Ancient Power again. Hyper Beam. Well, okay, then. That was probably going to kill him. What? It didn't. That'll give me a chance to switch with Zero Punishment, though, because it has to recharge. Hyper Beam is an incredibly powerful move, but after you use it, you have to recharge the next turn. Which means I can switch to Casper with Zero Consequence. And I can just keep uh, using Blast Burn. Because he can't, he doesn't have uh, Hydro Pump anymore. Which I think was his only super effective attack against Casper. That was Blast Burn. Strongest fire type of move in the game, and it did that. Well, bam. If he survives. Wow, that did nothing. Well, we both need to recharge. If he's just going to keep doing that, then, I mean, hell, we'll just, just spam Swift. Because even if he lowers my accuracy, in this case, it won't matter. What's that going to do? That did, like, as much as Blast Burn. Well, I think it's safe to say we won, because I don't think she's going to heal again. I think she only has two Hyper Potions she's going to use. Really? Look at that HP. That's bullshit. I can finish it off in style and use Blast Burn, but after my accuracy got lowered, I'm not going to take that risk. Alright. 
We good? We good. That's Kingdra. That's Gyarados, two Dragonairs, and a Kingdra. Should be it. Hard to forget all that EXP. Yep. Okay, I guess there must be a mistake. Because, I mean, we definitely whooped her ass. Huh. Wait, she didn't... She's not going to give us a gym badge. Okay. Well, she's a petty-ass bitch. So she's not going to give us our gym badge because she can't believe that we won. I don't... It's really stupid. But what she said is to go north of here. Uh, on that... Uh, on the water that's attached to the gym. And head in there. And she said she wants us to complete what she called the dragon challenge. And so... That's what we're going to have to do and see if somehow we can get our gym badge by completing whatever it is she wants us to do. So, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and do, and do that then. Yep. What noodle's still feeling better. Uh, we are definitely going to switch out somebody though, not... Wrong, wrong item. Uh, horn noodle? Yeah, horn noodle. <laughs> when in doubt, horn noodle. Okay. All right. And we're surfing. So up here is what she was talking about. So if you come up here before, this guy would have been blocking the way. Uh, she would... Uh, this guy would not have let us in. It says only worthy trainers are allowed in here, and I guess we're not worthy. Please don't require Flash. Oh, thank God. I really didn't feel like going all the way out to go get Flash. Okay. That dude was pathetic. Uh, I should probably pop a repel. I bought a bunch of them. I also bought a bunch of healing items off screen too. I don't think I mentioned that. Uh, what are you? I, that had to have been an item. That was just way too obvious. Revive's always good. So we can surf on the water here still. Cool. Going for the item. A calcium. I think that raises special attack. I'm not, I don't remember. I know it's another one of those uh, base healing items, though. Or uh, base stat raising items. Yeah, special attack. Uh, special attack would probably be best on uh, Noodle, I think. Or Egg Noodle, because Egg Noodle is a special attacker. But she doesn't have a lot of. It's you. There's a move in particular you always want to try and get on uh, on a Tokatik or its evolutionary form, but we don't have the ability to get that move yet. At least I don't think we do. I, I should probably check, but it's the move you definitely want, and it's a special move, which is kind of the move that makes the whole Pokemon useful. If that rock doesn't contain a hidden item, this has to contain a hidden item, right? Yeah, I thought so. See another guy down there. Oh, two guys. Girls. Hello. For a free item. Worth battle. Man, they got they got just dusted. Oh, a max elixir. That's really good. Hidden item. Hidden item. Hidden item, right? Oh, dang it. Yo, yo, you gotta look for them hidden items. I'm never gonna pull out the dowsing machine because that's too much effort on my part. Alright, Whirlpool. So, if you remember, we taught uh, Wet Noodle uh, Whirlpool. It's a shitty move, and I really wish I didn't have to have it. It's an HM in this game, in this game only. And you can use it to cross Whirlpools like this in the field. And we saw some back uh, on the east side of Cyanwood City in that part of the ocean. So, we'll go back there later to deal with that. But for now, it's not what we're gonna be doing. Hop in here. Hello. Wow. <laughs> she did already know. So he wants us to answer a few questions. What are Pokemon to us? There there are specific types of answers you're supposed to be answering here. So we're gonna say friend, what helps win battling? I don't know, training. What kind of trainer do you wish to battle? Uh, probably just anyone. Free EXP is EXP. 
what's most important. Obviously, love is going to be the answer they're wanting. It's not the answer I want to play, but... Strong, we are both. Huh. So now this dude thinks we're worthy of beating the Pokemon League. Huh. She has just blown away. Wow, we getting the threats out now. Finally gives us our fucking badge. Thank you, Claire. Took you long enough. And this is the HM that allows us to climb waterfalls with the move waterfall. Another HM that I had to teach a wet noodle. I didn't want him to become an HM slave. I really didn't. He's got Earthquake, which is not the worst, but... So, he teaches us of a Pokemon called Lugia. And so, between Olivine and Cyanwood City, it's called the World Islands. It's a huge waterfall deep in the cave. It's said that Lugia rests at the deep end of the waterfall basin. And he wants us to go there and see what's going on. So, we can talk to him if we want. And nothing's really going to happen. He's just going to keep repeating it. I don't think these guys have anything to say. Huh. So, apparently, these guys know who... Uh, Master Lance is, and apparently nobody's been approved since Lance, which is interesting. And we've met him already. Alright, cool. Just fast forward to all the repel. I'm sure you guys don't want to see all that annoying nonsense. Uh, let's head west in the cave. There's probably a hidden item there, but I don't care. We got something. What's this? Dragon Fang. I think this is used for a whole item evolution. I'm not sure. I think so. I think it's all there is in here for us for now. So we're just gonna get out of here with a scap rope. I need to get more escape ropes. And we get a call from Professor Elm. He says he got a hold of something. He wants us to swing by and pick it up. So I guess that's what we're gonna do. So we're going to fly with Egg Noodle. Back to Newbark Town. Yay! Sorry about the fast forward button, just I'm sure you guys already get it. Oh, Lyra's here. What's up? So she thinks it's cool we got all the gym badges. I think it's cool too. And he gives us the Master Ball, which is the greatest Pokeball you can possibly get in the game. The Master Ball, like he says, is the ultimate Pokeball. And any single time you throw it at a Pokemon, it will never have a chance of failing. So, it's amazing. There's only one per game, though. And there's no way of ever getting more. There is technically one way, but it's literally as hard as winning the lottery. So, good luck with that. That's actually... I'm making a joke there. That's actually exactly... So, this person says they're, uh, the people are waiting us... Uh, those kimono girls are waiting for us in that dance theater. But... When I said it's as hard as win the lottery, that's because it's actually exactly what you got to do. That lottery that's in uh, Goldenrod City, if you play that and you somehow manage to match every single one of your numbers perfectly, the game will give you a Master Ball. It's the only other way you can get multiple Master Balls in a game, but it's also literally winning the lottery. So, I mean, yeah, odds of it aren't good. So, we're going to go see what's going on with the Kimono Girls in their dance theater. And then after that, we're probably going to peace out for this episode. But before we do... Actually, if I do that now, this episode is going to run way over. Like, by a lot. So, screw it. I guess you guys are getting a really long episode today. Whether you guys appreciate that or not, I, it's up to you. We're going to throw Casper out front, though. Because I just like Casper a lot. Mainly because I just like Typhlosion a lot. This is a completely wrong city, I'm realizing now. God damn it. Completely wrong city. It goes to the completely wrong city. This is where we needed to go. Oh. Timmy got kicked out. Oh, he lost to them. Wow. And you call me pathetic, buddy. Run like a little bitch. Look at him run. What a bitch. So we enter the building and five kimono girls. Hello. Zuki. Okay. I probably pronounced that with a bit more uh, emphasis than I needed to. 
But they said uh, they wanted somebody to go see what was up with Lugia, but they needed somebody to have the right bond with Pokemon. And so when he, they gave the egg to Pokemon, uh, M Mr. Pokemon to see who actually showed true potential, and eventually it was given to me, which is now Togetic. And so now he wants to see... They want to test us to see how strong we really are. This is actually pretty hard. I'll keep it on screen because they are pretty unique fights, but it's a gauntlet of five... Don't worry about that, beat. That's that's my sister's husband messaging me. Um, it's a gauntlet of five trainers straight in a row, and they're not all pushovers, that's for sure. I mean, you know, for me, they're probably going to be because I have, you know, Casper. Oh, right. Special defense. Well, this just got hard. Strength? He's more special defensive than he is normal defensive. Okay. Well, you know what? Blast burn. Blast burn again. There we go. Alright. Well, Casper's already half dead. And like I said, it's a gauntlet of five in a row. So you can't heal in between fights. Which is... Which is bad. Whew. Okay. So this is the one we met in Elex Forest. We've met all of them before. They just all look exactly the same. So like I said, this is the one who uh, we met in Elex Forest, who she said she was going to help Mr... What was his name? I already forget his name. Kurt, and help him out, but I guess it didn't matter. Espeon. We're probably going to heal, because we need to. Bad. Um, mm, yes. Okay, well that was almost useless. We're gonna use Lava Plume, see how much it does, and we might have finished off with Blast Burn. How much are you gonna do? Yeah, okay. Oh, well, crit. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you get a crit, obviously you're gonna one-shot everybody. <clears throat> so, she acknowledged our strength. How nice. Who's next? You, huh? Ah, so this was the one who was actually inside the theater when we chased off the Galactic, or the Team Rocket Grunt. A few generations behind for that one. So this is the one who we've already met inside this building before. And she's gonna send out a Flareon. Well, shit. Uh, swift and pray for the best. What's that gonna do? <laughs> I think it's time to switch to, uh, Wet Noodle. Fire Blast. Four times resist. Suck it. For four times resist, that's still a lot. Earthquake or Surf? Earthquake's definitely more powerful. And will it so We got a burned Wet Noodle now, but it doesn't matter because I thought it was going to die, but I guess not. Will you Surf? Dead. There we go. That makes it so much easier. All right. So we defeated Mickey. And she gave us nine grand for our efforts. Jeez. In case you guys haven't picked up on it yet, they all fight with... Uh, this is the one we pushed uh, on the ice because she was stuck. Um, if you hadn't noticed, they're all battling with... Um, come on. Get the words out, you idiot. They're all battling with the evolutions that Eevee can have. So, we've already had, um, what was the order? Umbreon, Espeon, Flareon, Jolteon, and, uh, there's one more that we haven't seen yet, which we're gonna see in just a second, but hopefully she doesn't kill me real quick. She killed me real quick. Alright, who was second? White Noodle. Well, that's bad. Uh, it's kind of my only bet, because I can just definitely one-shot with Earthquake. And then now I'm gonna die, because she used Double Team. Yeah, we're pretty fucked right now. Okay, if she attacks, we're done. Wait, does she only have that electric thunderbolt as her move? Because if so, then we're actually pretty clear because she can't attack me. I don't know how you avoid an earthquake, but uh, I feel like that takes some doing. Uh, Horn Noodle has Aerial Ace, so we'll be able to uh, hit him without failure. Yep, just get through it all. I'm just going to fast forward to this part. I'm sure you guys get it. Uh-oh. Was I faster? I don't remember. I wasn't faster. Well, this is bad. Noodle? 
Headbutt. Headbutt again. Headbutt again. Headbutt again. Headbutt again. I think it's panic time. Oh, it's hardcore panic time. Shoot. Sludge bomb. Sludge bomb again. Oh my god, Hard Noodle gets the victory. Ha 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 ha. I mean, we're still pretty fucked because we still got one more we gotta do. But Hard Noodle gets the victory. Gastro acid. Let's see what this does. I forget what this move is for. Da, 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 da. Oh, it, it, it's right. Uh, when you have this Pokemon on the field, it it, uh, it uh, eliminates all the abilities of the Pokemon, which can be useful, but it's, again, really situational. And I don't really like movies that are only exclusively situational. So, hello. We're pretty screwed right now. This is the one who was underground uh, in the radio tower uh, when we went to go to defeat Team Rocket the last time. So, let's see. She's going to have a Vaporeon because it's the only one that's yep, left. And uh, we're going to need Noodle alive, and we're going to need him alive pretty bad. Uh, Wet Noodle's definitely going to die first turn, and I've accepted that. I still have Egg Noodle. Actually, you know what? I don't have a full restore, do I? No, I don't. But I do have a Hyper Potion. And we're going to use that on Wet Noodle and see what we can do. Um, Earthquake. Okay, I think it's panic time. If it knows Surf, then we're already in pretty dire straits. Extra Sensory, let's see what that does. Okay. We are going to have to revive... Noodle. Um, I was not faster, was I? I don't think so. No, I wasn't. And he's dead next turn. So we're gonna use an item to fully heal up Noodle. And pray Noodle can take a hit. And then we're gonna have to risk the thunder, because the only way I'm gonna be able to win. Or we just go faster and hit him. That works too. Ha ha ha! Sweet. And Noodle did not level up. Hard Noodle? Nope. Okay. Well, we beat her. That's all five. Like I said, this is not easy. We get the title bell. Finally. Uh-oh. So they see the shadow of the Pokemon they were talking about, and she wants us to meet her at the World Islands. Which we're definitely going to have to do next episode. So, because we're already 28 minutes in. Uh, I mean, I used to do these uh, videos at 35. So, we can just go back to 35 for just this episode. Just so we can see what's going on. So, I can leave it off on even more of an infuriating cliffhanger. So, we got that. Sorry about the speed up button. Okay. So, everyone's fully healed now. I'm not keeping... Casper out front. That's pretty stupid. We'll throw Noodle out front. Hard Noodle became useful for a fight there, though. Did you guys see that? I, I thought that was pretty cool. Sorry. I, I got really used to holding down the speed up button because of all the training I was doing off screen. Almost all of it had me holding down the speed up button. Do we still have the effect of a super repel active? Wow. Okay. I already battled all the trainers around here doing off-screen training. I'm sure you guys picked up on that. So, we got the Whirlpools around here. This is why we still have Whirlpool. What, once you finally get through all the... This is pretty much the last area you need Whirlpool. So, once you uh, use Whirlpool to get through here one last time, you can just forget the move. And if you need it again, if you ever want to come back in here, you can. But I probably would just forget the move and forget about it forever. Because it's such a garbage move. So, here we go. The Whirl Islands. Oh my god, I need Flash. Be right back. Well, I went out and uh, grabbed Mary, who I taught Flash to. I just caught some random Mary up off screen. But uh, the problem is, is this is a really horrible move. Flash is just fucking abysmal. And like moves like Whirlpool, I can suck it up for a little bit, but... Definitely not doing that with Flash. Flash is way too horrible of a move to even justify having it on there for 10 seconds. So, not happening. 
Another garbage Ultra Ball. So I ended up switching out uh, Ampharos or just Noodle if you want to get super technical. But the only reason I did that is because I really wanted to keep Hard Noodle in my party to use the EXP share to get more EXP. So that's what we're doing. A Calcium, another one, huh? Well, I'll probably just save that until I can give it to Noodle. All right. So the point of this is to try and traverse through the cave to find to get to the very bottom of said cave. Did we just just find another exit? We did. We did just find another exit. I gotta use flash again. Stupid. Not summary. There we go. Oh, we already got that item. Um, repel. Let's see. Another ladder at least downwards. Strength to move this boulder. For item? Oh, and progression. Oh, escape rope. That's actually really good because I forgot to buy more. Uh, sure. Where's this lead? That's back to the entrance. We took the surfing uh, over to that ladder as opposed to just going down that one. Leads to the same place though, so. That's alleged to the opposite end. Dang it. Okay. We need to find a way to... Well, that sucks. I actually gotta go all the way around again. This is one of the few caves in the Pokemon series I do not recognize off the back of my hand. Because I've only been through it like twice. Like, all the other caves in the, the Kanto region or the Hoenn region, I know them all to the back of my hand. But in the Johto region, these caves... Some of them are kind of iffy. Some of them are pretty easy, like Dark Cave or uh, Union Cave. But this cave right here, the Warl Islands, flies over my head every single time. We already went that way and there was nothing. Wait, where did we not go yet? We went there and we couldn't go any farther. Was there some place we could surf across up here? No, because I just went to the other side of that. What am I missing here? Huh. Let me see. So we went up here. The ladder just led to the exit again. There's nothing up there. Is there something outside this exit I wasn't catching? Let's see. Is there something out here I can actually... Oh, there's something out here I can actually do. Another repel. Sorry for the speed up button. Nothing there. Uh, another whirlpool. Okay. Something over here. That would just bring me to the opposite end of it. I need to go this way. Is this the one I need to... Oh. Really? 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 Come on, really? You couldn't have just not had that rock there. Everything would have been so much easier. <sighs> Gotta use Flash again. This gets annoying after a while. Mainly because it keeps reminding me about how much I don't have Ampharos on me. Okay. Well, this sucks. That's how you get that item and go down farther. But there's a ladder here, too. Let's see where this goes. Oh, repel. Alright. Um, where did that ladder lead to? Oh, well, we got this ladder now. Which leads us down farther. It's probably where we need to go. Item. A max revive. That's pretty good. Uh, person? Oh! Yeah, we show him off the silver wing, and he's all... <gasps> the Almighty! And then he lets us through. There's a... Two items over there. Now I really want to know where that ladder leads. This right here, if you haven't figured out, is where we're supposed to be going. That's a pretty cool perspective, don't you think? Rare candy. That's a really good item. Oh, I accidentally talked to Quagsire. He likes the sound of running water. Yeah, I mean, I would too if you were water type. 
Alright. I wish they screw with the camera's perspective a bit more like this. It's kind of sad this is the only time it's ever actually done. You can see whirlpools down there behind all those boulders. They don't really mean anything, though. So we enter the cave. Here they are. They got a bit of a little cutscene here, so I'll keep quiet during all this. Everybody, meet Lugia, the box legendary of Pokemon Soul Silver version. He's also the legendary you encounter if you were playing Pokemon, not Crystal, uh, Pokemon Silver version. So, what the Kimono Girls want you to do is to battle it, weaken it, and then try to catch it. But instead of doing that, because it has a stupid little catch right now, I don't feel like bothering with that, we're going to use the Master Ball. Now, if you want a good tip, I use the Master Ball on the roaming legendary as opposed to the box legendary, because at least this, you can save in front of him and retry if you're failing to catch him. But with the roaming legendaries, if they run every single time you throw one Pokeball, you can immediately throw the Master Ball and you would just catch him immediately. Which is nice, but I don't plan on doing that. So, look at it is the diving Pokemon. It's said to be the Guardian of the Seas. It is rumored to have been sent uh, to be seen on the night of a storm. I can't read, apparently. Also, I like how it's has this huge association with water and it's the Guardian of the Seas and all this. Psychic and Flying type. It's not even Water type. So, okay. Makes sense to me. Give a nickname to it? No. I'm not going to bother with that. So cool. That was underwhelming in my opinion, but oh well. So we caught them, and we can go up here and talk to them now. And they're like uh, amazed that we managed to catch it. And so now they wish us luck, and we can leave. There's not really much more to it. Now, <sighs> stupid. I do want to run around and find those other hidden items, but we're already 40 minutes in, which is already longer than any episode I've ever made so far. So... I hope you guys enjoyed the long one. <laughs> I'll meet you guys back out here. And uh, we're going to head back to... I'm not sure where we're going to head to next. I guess I'll figure it out next time. But uh, the next time when I end it off, I'll probably be somewhere around Blackthorn City. I'm not sure. Or I could be standing right here. I don't know. But I'll see you guys next time.